Okay, this is my first vlog ever. Um, so I apologize in advance for what will probably be a very cheesy video, but it'd be easier to show this as a video um, rather than try to describe it with a bunch of typing. So this is my home management binder that I've put together. Um, and it's very plain and very simple, but it works really well for me. So in this pocket over here, I keep the recipes that I'm going to be using over the next couple of weeks. I try to plan out meals about two weeks ahead of time. So this has the recipes that I'll be using for the next two weeks. And I got this thinking that I would put a lot of stuff in it, and I have nothing to put in it, and I'm not really sure what I will put in it, but I have it. So it was like a dollar at Walmart extra pages in case I have to make notes or whatever. Um, this is our daily schedule. Keep that close by. My first tab is daily, which has all of the things that I want to try to do each day and um, has a place to put the meals and um, it has three different sections to do notes schedule, but I have actually changed that and I use it for the three different things that kind of um, make up what I do. Ministry, which is mostly stuff at church. Um, personal, which is things just for me. My Bible study, reading, exercise, things like that. And then this is for home. Anything that has to do with the home and family and all that. So um, that's my daily and I try to plan about a week or two in advance. Usually Sunday afternoons is when I end up doing that. The next tab is calendar. And I have um, just calendar pages, kind of an overview for each month. And then menu, and I plan, like I said, two weeks ahead of time, so I just have our menu on there. Have recipes that I want to try, mostly from Pinterest. Um, pantry inventory, freezer inventory. I'm not keeping up with these real well, just because I don't have a whole lot of stock, but um, it's nice to have them there. And then somewhere in here I have a page for master grocery list, which I want to make my own. Okay, maybe not. I thought I had a page for um, recipes that we like, but I'm not sure where it's at right now. I have a shopping tab, and I haven't done anything with this yet, but like I said, I want to make a, a master grocery list that is um, customized for my family. Um, I do have some things I want to check prices on at Aldi and Costco in there, too. And then cleaning... Um, I made a cleaning schedule for the month, so it's like the first week, this is what I do each day. The second week, this is what I do. So I don't have to change it from month to month. Um, but it just has, like, every Monday I do laundry, I clean the bathrooms. Every Tuesday I do, um, I wash the bedding, and I dust, and I vacuum, and so forth and so on. So that I'm not doing all my cleaning all at one time. Although I do sometimes do that when I have to. Um... This was a really cool thing that I found online, and I'll try to link to it. Um, it's a declutter, a year of decluttering, and each day it has one thing that you can do to declutter something in your house. And it's really quick. Um, like today I'm actually doing this, filming this on February 7th, and it is to clear off the center of your dresser top. So yesterday it was the left side of your dresser, today it's the center, and tomorrow it's the right side. So you really could do it in five or ten minutes. Um, so there's one of those each month. And I really like kind of looking at those. And then I have a bunch of lists here of um, cleaning tasks, things you should do every day, things you should do every week, things you should do every month, things for each room. And when I was making my own schedule, I just kind of used all of these as a basis to go off of. This is my to-do section. This has more lists. I love lists. Um, this has the things that I want to do immediately, the things I'm still working on. Um, and then it has each room in our house. We've been fixing up our house ever since we bought it five years ago. And um, this has each room of our house listed and a page of things that I want to do. So, no boredom around here. And then I have reading. This is my reading list. Um, the books that I want to get read this year, if at all possible. And then, 
a reading and library list for my daughter, which I haven't had a chance to put together yet, but that's on my to-do list. Um, so I'd like to do that for her. And then these are just some other books that if I get around to reading them, great. If not, they'll probably go on next year's reading list. Then I have a homeschool tab. Um, I have a two and a half year old, so we don't do a lot of school, um, you know, actually sitting down and doing schoolwork, but we do a lot throughout our day. And this is just to help me um, remember to do those things and to be intentional about doing those things. Um, so that's what this is. And each week I just kind of jot down a few things that I would like to do with her um, right now so that I don't forget that. And it has some catechism questions and um, just mostly little charts that I can use to block that out. I have an exercise log, but um, I actually have been using a website that I like a lot better for that. So I haven't really used that very much. And then just some workouts that I printed off from Pinterest. Um, Bible, I found these Bible verses pages that were free printables. And this is kind of a nice place to just write down verses that are on my mind and heart that I want to be thinking about or memorizing. Um, so it's nice to have it included with all of this. And then this tab is for blogging. And I have a monthly calendar for each month. I have February out right now because I was using it earlier. But um, each month I will fill in the days. These are just blank. So fill in the month and the days. And then put what I want to blog about as I think of them. I don't sit down and plan out a month of blog posts. But as I think of it, I'll put it in there. As you know, I'm doing the Joy Dare. And so this is my Thousand Gifts tab. And this is where I keep the list of... Um, the ideas for gifts for each day. So I have both of those in there. I have a ministry tab also, um, and this has anything that I'm working on for church um, in there as well. Notes, this has the things that I'm looking for at yard sales, notes from books and magazines I've read recently that I want to do in the house, um, a gift list, um, notes about bills and things like that, just any kind of notes that I want to keep. Um, this is a hospitality tab, which is something I need to get together with my husband and kind of plan out specific people that we want to have over, specific things that we want to do this year. Um, there's a lot in my head about this, but we haven't gotten anything on paper yet, as you can see. Um, holidays is empty right now, but I have some printables that are gift lists and um, Christmas card lists and things like that. This is my gardening tab. And this is where I'll keep track of all of the um, notes about gardening and things like that. This is gifts. Um, this is separate from Christmas. This is birthdays and anniversary gift type things um, where I can keep notes about that. And then resources. This is just kind of a catch-all tab. Just stuff I didn't know where to put. Um, just other printables that I wasn't sure where I was going to print them or put them. And then I have this... Um, plastic cover that has pages I've pulled out of magazines and I normally try to put these on Pinterest but some of them I can't always find and like this one has a coupon so um, this is just for those loose things that wouldn't hold up well with holes punched in them so um, and then um, I have a protein counter just things I want to keep in here and then um, sorry for privacy I'm trying to be careful that I don't show too much here um, and then I just have random stuff here in the back. So that is my home management notebook, and I hope that was helpful. Um, and I will have some links and things in the post as well. Thanks. Bye.